Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make an adorable hair bow just like this one using iron-on transfers. Stay tuned! So for this project you're going to need light fabric iron-on transfers. You're going to need fabric. Scrap fabric is great for this project scissors and a ruler, an iron, this is a cra my crafting iron, and a glue gun. And this is optional but I like to use lightweight fusible interfacing. So first I'm going to take my zebra print fabric. This is going to be for one panel of the bow and for the back panel of the bow. My bow, when I cut bows, I cut them at 3 by 5 inches typically, unless someone requests one larger or smaller. 3 by 5 usually works pretty good, it's not too big, not too small. My ruler is 3 inches wide, so I just kind of cut along my ruler, but if you don't have a ruler like this, just measure a 3 by 5 inch square and cut it out. I'm cutting on an angle because I didn't want my zebra stripes to be straight up and down and they kind of ended up that way anyway. Now I'm cutting one of the front panels which is going to be a 3 by 5 inch piece and I'm going to cut one out of the white fabric also and it's also going to be a 3 by 5 inch piece. And as you can see this fabric is really thin. This is really inexpensive scrap fabric that I had from another project but it's perfect for this but this is why I like to use the fusible interfacing because it kind of makes it a little less transparent and makes the fabric a little more firm. So now that I've got my two 3x5 panels, I am pinning them together and I'm going to sew them. Now for those of you that don't have a sewing machine or don't know how to sew, I really encourage you getting a sewing machine or learning how to sew, especially if you are a handmade business owner, you can really up your sales by knowing how to sew. So if that's something that you would like me to teach you, let me know in the comment section below. If you don't have a sewing machine, if you have a desire to sew, if that's something you want to learn, let me know in the comment section. So now I've got these two pieces stitched together and I'm going to iron them. One, because I don't know if you noticed, but my fabric was incredibly wrinkled. But two, because I need to get this seam flat on the inside because I want to attach my interfacing and it's just going to help my project in the long run. So I'm ironing the back also. Now I've got my two pieces and I've got my interfacing out. Remember this part is optional. One side is going to be kind of bumpy and tacky and that's the sticky side. The other side is going to be kind of smooth. So we're going to put the sticky side on the wrong side of our fabric and I'm going to cut it out exactly with both of my pieces as I'm doing here. And we're going to iron this on and it's just going to add an extra layer to our fabric. Now that we've got the interfacing cut out, we are just going to attach that to the fabric with our iron. And this isn't my real ironing board, this is a toy ironing board. I explained this in the Doc McStuffins tutorial, so you have to go back and watch about how I took my kids' ironing board. So this is a toy ironing board, but it's wood, and it works really great for my project, so that's why I use it. So now I'm taking the two pieces and putting right sides together, and I'm just going to sew a complete rectangle, leaving no openings all the way around the hair bow. So now that all sides have been stitched together, I'm just trimming it up just a little bit because you don't want too much extra hanging over, too much seam allowance. Now I'm going to fold my bow in half so that I can find the center. And on the back of the bow, I'm going to cut a hole straight up the center. And at first, I started to use my seam ripper, but because I used the interfacing, it didn't rip as easily as I would, like, would have liked it to. So I'm just making a small slit down the center of the back, just the back, not the front, with my scissors. And now I'm going to turn the whole thing inside out. So we're going to 
straighten out those corners poke those corners out there are tools for this but I don't think that I have one so I am using a knitting needle and that is working perfect for this but you can also stick some other things in there I'm not going to mention those but you can stick some things in there just be careful not to poke a hole in your project now that I have my Hello Kitty iron on printed out I am going to begin to apply that to the white side of the hair bow. Now I recently did a tutorial on how to print out iron-ons, iron-on transfers using the iron-on transfer paper and I will leave a link to that in the description box so you can check that video out. It's basically the same thing except for we printed a smaller image so that it would fit on our bow. And as I explained in that tutorial when you're using light fabric transfers you need to flip it over and as you can see my image is a little bit oversized but that's okay that was intentional because I didn't want a tiny image and a whole lot of white fabric I wanted mostly the image I just found this image on Google I just googled um, Hello Kitty zebra print and this is one of the images that came up so it's a little oversized but I'm just cutting it down so that it's gonna fit on the hair bow and I'm going to iron it on so again, that video on how to print the iron-on transfers is going to be in the description box below. Once I'm done, I just peel off the backing and our bow is almost complete. Now at this point, you could go ahead and add stuffing if you wanted to, like some filling if you really wanted your bow to be bubbly, but I didn't do that. So I just tie a knot on one end and stitch in and out right up the center. When I get to the top, I'm just going to pull my needle out and scrunch it together in the center. And then I wrap it around, I wrap the thread around the center a couple times. And that is going to secure our bow. So once we're done with that, I put a small drop of glue on the back of the bow, my hot glue gun press the ribbon on, gently wrap it around, and then add another dot of glue to attach the ribbon through the middle. And then you can just cut the excess off. Now you have your bow and you can attach this to a barrette, a clip. I'm using an elastic band to make an elastic headband and I usually cut about 17 inches for toddlers and small children that seems to work well you can find elastic I found this elastic at my local craft store they had it in all different colors they had pink and gold polka dots all different colors you can also find it online so now using my glue gun I'm going to attach the two ends of the elastic together and that's going to be super secure and then from there we just use the glue gun to attach our bow and your hair bow is done. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Here's a look at a hair bow that I recently did for my friend's daughter. She has a YouTube channel where she does tea hauls and all kinds of cool stuff. Check her out by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye!